Hello and welcome. You're watching the Property Show West Edition. I am Shweta Kothari and I have with me Naimunisa Khan, Head Research and Consultancy South, Lysis Forus. This is the show where we help you make right decisions for your property choices. But first, let's take a quick look at the headlines. Having taken a hit by the government's demonetization move, developers now offer price protection schemes to woo home buyers. But should the home buyers take the bait? We find out. 2016 may have been a difficult year for real estate in general, but private equity players remain bullish throughout. A look at the top PE deals this year and what is in for 2017. A home for every budget in Thane starting at a very pocket-friendly budget of 30 lakhs. And affordable projects from reputed developers in Pune. Also on the show, prime property options in Navi Mumbai under 55 lakhs. Well, our very first caller, Ajay, joins us on the phone line. Ajay, welcome to the Property Show. Please go ahead with your question. Hi, thank you for taking my uh, uh, query. I just wanted to know uh, uh, about the property that I have selected in Palatia Phase 2 by Madhavji Sriji. My budget is a crore. And uh, I just wanted to know the basics. How is the builder in terms of reputation? Is the project clear in terms of paperwork? But Naimunisa Ajay is looking uh, for a property. He has already selected one in Palatia Phase 2 by Madhavji Sriji. His budget is about 1 crore rupees. He has some general queries with respect to uh, uh, the background of the developer and, and the quality of construction in this particular project. What do we have for him? See, Madhavji uh, Sriji, in fact, uh, he is well known in the industry, almost has uh, 3.5 decades of experience in constructing roads and a lot of other government projects that he has done. In fact, only in 2002, they started as a real estate developer and they have pro completed three projects in Kalyan by the name of Madhav Shistri, Shrishti, I'm sorry, uh, Madhav Shrishti, Sanskar and Madhav Sankalp. So if you have any queries related to the kind of uh, the specifications or the quality of construction that he's providing, I would say that you should definitely visit these projects. In my opinion, he's a good developer. The, the projects delivered by him are also of a very decent quality. And in fact, uh, this particular project, I think it's located in Godbandar Road and it's offering a decent price for a project which is going to get completed by the end of 2018. Uh, in fact, if you look at the location itself, if you're looking at Godbandar Road, then it's a very strategic location in Thane. Like in terms of connectivity, it's course 10 on 10 with its connectivity from Eastern Express Highway and uh, its close proximity to the Western Express Highway as well. So um, I think location wise also, it's a good location, project is good. So we're definitely going to give you a go ahead on this project. Uh, but let, let me share some data points with you about the Gorbhandar and the Thani West market. Uh, if you look at the available supplier, it's around 24,000 units, which is quite huge. And in the inventory overhang of this market is around 87 months with an weighted average price of around 9,500 rupees per square foot. So I would suggest that this, if you're looking at an investment in this market, then uh, consider it to be a long-term investment. But I'm sure it's a definitely a very good long-term investment because in terms of social infra, everything, malls from schools to uh, IT parks, everything is coming up in Thane. And if you're holding on to this property for the next uh, four five years you'll definitely get a fruitful return on this property currently the price appreciation in the last two years has been only 2.5 percent and um, yes um, if you want to compare any other projects with this particular project uh, I think we have list shortlisted Vijay Oravia and uh, Lodha Mara. Vijay Oravia in fact is on Gurbandar Road itself and Lodha Mara is towards uh, Kolshit Road. Uh, in fact the reason why we selected these two properties is because even these two properties just like uh, Palaysia offers compact ticket sizes which will fit perfectly in your budget. So I think yes you can also look into these properties if you can wait for possession by the end of 2020 as well. So Ajay, as Naimunisa mentioned, you're getting a, a, a particular project for a very attractive price, so you should hold on to this property. Also, Thane is a very good location. Uh, you're getting a price appreciation of about 3%, so uh, this is definitely a project to hold on to. Uh, the project 
Palatia Phase 2 by Madhav Sriji Group is located in Thane West. You're getting a, a room here for about 8,999 rupees per square foot, which is approximately 9,000 rupees per square foot. Uh, it is about uh, 1.6 kilometers away from Hiranandani Hospital, 2 kilometers from Universal High School. The construction is in mid stage and possession is expected by 2018. Project has all good amenities. However, we also have two more recommendations for you in this particular budget. Uh, the first is Vijay Orovia by Vijay Group. Uh, prices here are about 8,500 rupees per square foot. Uh, it is built on a 34 acres of land. It is about 7 kilometers from Thane railway station, uh, 1.5 kilometers from Godbandar road and project construction is at early stage possession is expected by the end of 2020 this project too has all basic amenities like cricket pitch half basketball court multi-purpose court among others our second recommendation for you is Lodha Amara by Lodha Group. Uh, you can get a flat here for about 8,300 rupees per square foot. It's built on 88 acres of land. It's barely 4 kilometers from Eastern Highway, 5 kilometers from Thane Railway Station. A project construction is at mid stage and you can expect possession by 2020. This project too has all good amenities. Next, we have an email from Vinay who's written to us. He's uh, looking for a, a, a flat in Navi, Mumbai. His budget is about 55 lakh rupees. What do we have for him, Naimunisa? Okay, um, if he's looking in Navi, Mumbai at the budget of 55, I think he can look at Kalamboli Micro Market uh, because it will suit his budget perfectly. The weighted average price here is around 5,600 rupees per square foot. Versus if he looks at a uh, Washi or uh, Koper Kherne, the it might be very expensive for him. So I think Kalamboli will be a decent location. It's um, on the border of the urban sprawl. It is getting engulfed in the city uh, in terms of social infrastructure also. Uh, like there's D-Mart and all these uh, shopping related activities and schools are coming up in this area. In terms of connectivity also, I think Kalamboli scores uh, very good points because it's uh, closely, like it's located uh, very close to the NH4. The Kalamboli station and bus stand are also uh, very, uh, uh, share good connectivity, uh, like they provide good transport uh, connection to the other parts of the city. In fact, the best buses uh, also go up till Dadar from Kalamboli bus station. So your connectivity in terms of road is also very good. So I think, yes, definitely you should look at Kalamboli. Uh, looking at the data points, the currently available units are around 698. Uh, so there's limited supply in this micro market. The annualized returns has not been uh, very uh, exorbitant, it's around 2%, but as in how this location develops and the social fabric in this location develops and the density in this area comes, we are certain that this area will definitely see a good appreciation in the future. So you should definitely invest here. Uh, in fact, the projects that we are recommending you are uh, a mix of under construction and ready to moon projects depending on how you want to make uh, the decision whether you want to enter a project at the under construction stage and then wait for the appreciation to happen over a period of time or you want to move, go get into a ready to move in property and fetch re good rental income out of it. So um, yes, the project names are Ambika Heritage. In fact, this is uh, next to the police headquarters and the D-Mart and uh, Super Speciality Hospital, Bus Depot, everything is in close proximity to this project. Then the second one is a Green Escape Eternia. This is towards Road Pali. In fact, the Tiara Mall is very close by from this project. And then there is Amarante. Uh, Amarante, in fact, is very close to DMAR and the Tsitko water tank area. And it is also like there are some towers which are also in the ready to move in stage in this project. So you'll definitely be able to crack a very good deal in the resale market in this project if you are a good bargainer. And this is a buyer's market today. So uh, I think you should definitely give a try to Amarante as well. So, uh, when I, as Naimunisa mentioned, she's given you a good uh, feedback as to what project you should look on for. But here's what we recommend you. Uh, Kalambuli as a market is just about fitting into your budget. It, it's also a very attractive location and uh, you can get a 1 or 2 BHK option here. For a 2 BHK, you might want to, uh, you know, shed in some extra money, put in more, uh, 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 a f further few lakh rupees. But we also have three recommendations for you and here they are. Ambika Heritage by Ravechi Group. Uh, it's a single tower located next to police headquarters. You have a super speciality hospital, D-Mart, and a two minute, it's at a two minutes drive from Mumbai Pune Expressway, five minutes drive from Kargar Railway Station, and five minutes drive from Mansarovar 
and Khandeshwar railway station project is under construction and possession is expected by early 2018. This project has all BC communities. Our second recommendation for you is Greenscape Eternia by Greenscape Developers. You can get a flat here for 6,700 rupees per square foot. Uh, it's, it's developed on 1.5 acres of land with five towers. Project is close to Kharga railway station, which is at uh, 4.7 4 kilometers, Dhanvantari hospital at about two and a half kilometers and Tiara mall at four kilometer project. Uh, is under construction and possession is expected by 2020. This project too has all BC communities. Our third recommendation for you is Amarante by Neil Siddhi uh, Builders. Uh, prices here are about 5,300 rupees per square foot. Uh, it, this project is available in the resale market so you can definitely have a look in there. Uh, this uh, project is spread over about seven acres of land with a total of 19 towers. It is located just off Mumbai Pune Expressway and is very close to DMART. Uh, it is being developed in phases and phases one is ready to move in. Amenities include podium and landscape garden, clubhouse and AC gym and pool um, and a pool among others. Now, if these are the kind of advices that you are looking to buy and if you have any buying or selling related query, then do write to us at property at ndtv.com. But do not forget to leave your full name and contact number. And just like always, our team will get in touch with you. Next, we have Neeraj Chos on the phone line. Neeraj, welcome to the property show. Please go ahead with your question. Hi, um, my budget is 65 lakhs. I'm looking at House Life Republic by Kolte Patel in Hindiwadi. I want to know if it's worth investing in this project or should I consider other options in uh, areas, nearby areas like Kurd or Banir? Well, Naimani sir, Neeraj uh, is looking uh, in, uh, for a project in Kolte Patil. Actually, he's already chosen one as as per what he's written to us earlier. He's chosen Life Republic. Uh, his budget is about 65 lakh rupees. Uh, what do we have for him? So, um, I think the project that he selected, Life Republic, um, uh, by Kolte Patil, I think it's a branded developer. The location is good, Hinjawadi. Uh, the main the Hinjawadi ID Park, the Rajiv Gandhi ID Park, uh, is the main growth driver of this location. And uh, it's because of uh, a lot of ID population only that, that the residential demand in this area is increasing. So, uh, I think in terms of developer, in terms of the project, township level project, 400 acre property with residential, commercial, retail outlets, restaurants, and everything that you can think, another sun that you can think is there in this project. So, we'll give you a go ahead on this project. The price is also very reasonable. In fact, I think few towers are already complete while some of them are still uh, in the initial stages because it's a huge township. Uh, so, yes, a go ahead for the project. And uh, when you look at the location uh, dynamics, I think uh, the inventory overhang is around 37 months and the weighted average price out here is 5,100 rupees per square foot. Uh, so um, I would suggest that uh, in terms of an um, investment, look at it as a slightly long term investment because this area is yet to develop, uh, like the area around it is uh, still in a developing stage and the social infrastructure is not completely developed. It's still in its initial stages, but it has definitely seen significant improvement in the uh, past few years so I would say the region to the east of the highway which is on the Wakard, Baner these are developing faster and most of the people who are working in Hinchawari they flock to these locations so if you can increase your budget a little bit maybe you can move into the, uh, these areas as well but in the, in your budget I think Hinchawari is good and uh, in fact if you are looking at Wakard then you should stay tuned to the property show because we are going to cover Wakard in the next query so you should definitely look at the uh, query and understand and the projects that we are recommending in Wakar. As for now, we are recommend you, recommending you three projects in uh, Hinjawadi, which is one, Life Republic, we are giving a go-ahead. And the other two are Pebbles High Mount by Metal Brothers and uh, Milange by Rama Group. Uh, this is in fact very close to the TCS and uh, Cognizant as well. And both these projects will get completed by uh, 2018. So yes, I think uh, it's a variety of choice for you. Well, uh, Naimani Sabah, there has been a witness, we, we witnessed a demand shift uh, towards larger residential units in Hinjewari to be particular. And also, there, has been, there have been significant government initiatives in this area. So, would you say it's the next hotspot in Pune? 
Well, it definitely is the next hot spot in Pune after because it is uh, on the verge of growth in the sense uh, there, there's already an economic growth driver in this market, which is uh, and it is not a speculative demand. The demand is because of an IT growth, and as in how uh, the IT uh, will grow and the density of this area will increase because till now, Wakar, Baner are the ones which are on the uh, uh, the urban sprawl, and the urban sprawl is growing towards Hinjawadi, and it's eventually going to meet with the uh, city limits. So once that that happens and the land availability and the density uh, the land availability reduces and the density increases this is definitely going to see a very good appreciation in future all right then uh, we it's a go ahead for your choice of life Re republic neeruj it's developed by kolte patel and you can get a flat here for 5300 rupees per square foot it's a 400 acre township and uh, just very close to bengaluru pune bypass which is at a 7 minute drive and mumbai pune expressway at a 15 minute drive the construction is in mid stages and possession is expected by 2019 uh, amenities include school museum organic farming and agro institute in this particular township however we have two more recommendations for you. The first is Pebbles High Mount by Mittal Brothers. Uh, prices here are about 5,500 rupees per square foot. It's being developed on 12 acres of land uh, with about two, five towers and uh, it's about seven kilometers from Mumbai Pune Bypass Road. Construction uh, is at an early stage and amenities include all basic as well as luxury amenities. A third recommendation for you is Milange by Rama Group. Uh, you can get a flat here for about 5,000 rupees per square foot. Prices vary. Uh, project is spread across 11 acres of land with about seven towers. Construction is in mid stage and possession is expected by uh, end of 2018. It is very close to uh, TCS, Cognizant, Infosys, among others. And amenities in this particular project include clubhouse, coffee lounge, restaurant, cafeteria, court, bar, lounge, among others. Moving on, despite a number of home buyers being on a wait and a watch mode post demonetization, there has been no drop in home lo loan inquiries. And that's according to the managing director of HDFC, Renu Sooth. Speaking to NDTV, uh, the HDFC MD says they do not anticipate any drop in property prices. And this is quite contrast to the popular belief. Take a look. Let me now ask you about real estate sector. You know that post demonetization, almost all sectors have been affected because of this, and real estate sector is no exception to it. So, how long do you think it will take for this sector to recover? Anybody's guess. You know, honestly, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to say. I think the positive of it is that, you know, we get calls for people uh, for loans. We we get calls every month. We get people coming onto our site. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed there. As far as the interest of people to buy homes, to try and locate a property, <coughs> still continues to be very good. Yes, definitely, for the time being, there's a lull. You must always know, whenever there's talk of property prices are coming down, interest rates will come down, yeah. every buyer waits. Uh, I don't think property prices are going to crash. Uh, at the high end, yes, you might see some rationalization. People are waiting for interest rates to come down, but having said that, most of the loans today are on variable rate basis. So even if the rate does come down two or three months later, mm -hmm. customers get the benefit of it. So I think it's a short term phenomena. Our need, our requirement, our shortage is so high that I don't think people will wait more than three to four months before they start coming back to the market. Yeah. Um, against all the expectation, the recent uh, RBI or monetary policy, the lending rates were not brought down. And do you think <coughs> in the future, if they bring down the lending rates, the banks will pass on the benefit to the end user? The well, I can talk about HDFC okay. and I can say that we have in the past, always whenever it was possible, we have always passed you know, any benefit that we are getting through an interest mm -hmm. rate uh, rationalization to the customer. And we will certainly do that. Um, I think, uh, you know, uh, it really is dependent on your cost of funds. Mm -hmm. As the cost of funds come down, mm -hmm. we are able to pass it on. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll certainly continue to do that. Ma'am, lastly, I would like to ask you your message to all the home buyers who are very uncertain after demonetization and they are literally sitting on the fence when it comes to property purchase. Your message to them? My message to them is that property, if you were to live in a property, I think there is no time which is a better time than today. I think. The, if you look at India's population, if you looked at the rate at which urbanization is happening, if you're going to be a real user of a property, I don't think you should ever, you know, uh, put back your decision by years. Mm -hmm. A couple of months, maybe, but certainly not by years. And, I, and I'm very convinced that middle-income India, low-income India, 
It's a long way to go. And the sooner you buy the property, the sooner you save your rent, the better off you will be. Well, that's uh, the HDFC MD busting a very popular myth about uh, demonetization that it will bring down rates. But that just doesn't change the fact that home buyers are sitting on the fence and are not ready to buy homes in the hope that property prices will come down. In order to get these uncertain buyers back into the market, many developers in Mumbai have come up with price protection, also known as the price assurance scheme. Ashwini Priolkar has the details. When the prices rise, you benefit. When the prices fall, we compensate. Several such price protection or price assurance schemes are doing rounds in Mumbai's property market post-demonetization. Many big developers like Loda, Radius, Runwal, Ajmera and Prajapati have put out ads asking people not to hold back their property purchase in the hope of price correction. They are asking people to buy property and in case the prices do fall, they will compensate them. We are offering them uh, the, uh, uh, that if they are buying at a particular lump sum cost and similar flat at the similar floor, if we are selling at uh, you know one year down the line, if, they, if uh, we can uh, uh, prove that we are selling at a lower price than which, we was, uh, than which was given by them, then we will pay the difference. With this kind of uh, you know assurance, this kind of uh, you know uh, impact coming from developers, it gives the confidence to the buyer that at least I have been assured, I have been secured. Developers are communicating about these schemes to their prospective customers through social media and emails. Some of them are also willing to give their customers in writing that if there is any price correction, they will honour it. All this seems to have instilled some confidence into the home buyers. Since it's been more than about a month and a half, uh, people are coming back because of these assurance schemes uh, uh, given by the builders. We are seeing the clients coming back. But is there any catch to such kind of schemes? What are some of the safeguards you as a home buyer should take into consideration before going ahead with such schemes? Such contract won't stand in the court of law also. That is another difficulty. What buyers will have to insist is, you give us a specific scheme. Now, such contract will not be concluded contract also because they are very vague and uncertain. Suppose uh, you buy a flat in Andheri and the price of the flat is say 10,000, uh, 20,000, uh, 30,000 rupees per square feet. That is if you agree in the agreement, then the agreement should say that the at the time of position of the flat, if the price uh, the price will be uh, reworked on the basis of the concluded contract in that month. If brokers are to be believed, thanks to such price protection schemes, the inquiries have gone up by almost 50%. But as a buyer, before going ahead with such schemes, it is important for you to do your due diligence. In Mumbai with camera person Atik Khan, Ashwini Priyolkar, NDTV. Well, that's developers trying to hold on to their loyal customers. Uh, time for a quick commercial break, but on the other side, why were private equity players bullish on Indian real estate in 2016? Also coming up, few more affordable housing projects in the Mumbai region. Stay tuned. <laughs> 